Hello. Hello there and good morning, everyone. Good to see you, Carol and Sean and Angus um, and uh, Rick H. Good morning, everybody. We're uh, going to kick off this design masterclass. Hopefully, you guys can hear me loud and clear. Uh, happy Friday, party people. Exactly. Awesome. Audio is good. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dive into this. It's going to do some abstract 3D design. Uh, if you don't mind, we'll just kind of switch over really fast because I know I'm excited that uh, I actually have a guest, a guest with me today, a uh, very special guest, and uh, I want to introduce uh, her to you. Just give me one second. Uh, but I got a little cat cam hooked up. So here's the kitty right here just hanging out with me. She typically does not like me, so uh, this is kind of a rarity to have her hanging out. So again, cute little black cat, and uh, there's your cat cam, right? Cool. Again, I thought that was kind of fun, right? We'll see how long she lasts, but um, I am uh, just have a different setup, so uh, that includes a cat cam, Sean. You're exactly right, so... Hooray for the kitty. As soon as I take my hand off of her, I'm uh, she's going to run away. So uh, that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, So, but I do need both hands because uh, we're going to dive into some fun 3D. I'm so excited about today, by the way. It's going to be awesome. Uh, really looking forward to this because I got quite a few things going on. So I'm going to go ahead and switch screens today and uh yeah i'll be broadcasting uh be a couple encore presentations uh for myself later on and uh just so you know just gotta i got family in town and hopefully everybody's doing well and making the most of the summer so uh here's kind of what i have going on currently so i'm just an illustrator we're gonna just have some fun kind of playing with 3d uh we can also jump into dimension and then uh, play with Substance, Adobe Substance 3D Stager. So Algorithmic is a company that we purchased a while ago, and we got all these new toys to play with, so it's super fun. So you guys get the idea. Hello, Bliss, Michelle. Awesome. Let's do this. Okay, kitty? She's like, please let me go. Did you just hear her meow? All right, so let's dive into this. Um... Yeah, and you guys probably know, uh, I would typically sort of like uh, create a shape like so. That might have, say, it'll be a perfect square, so 500 by 500. And uh, from there, we can go into 3D, um, and right up here, extrude and bevel. There it is, zip. Super easy to do, right? The reason I pointed out this 500 by 500, because I wanted this to be a perfect cube, so we'll change this extrude depth to 500 just like that and then we'll go in and we'll go ahead and make this isometric okay so that's sort of your um easy sort of 3d isometric oh kitty um uh design as you can see and there she goes that uh you could easily create so there are different bevels that you can add to it so as we take a look at some of this, we might not, we'll only be able to see a little bit of this. Uh, I'd have to crank this up a lot more and you can see that bevel taking place, but you guys kind of get the idea, right? I typically select none, plastic shading. We can adjust the uh, lighting as well. So there we go, there we go, boom, boom. I've just seen tutorials out there where they're like, hey, you know what, let me show you how to make a cube. And they'll start drawing all these lines and you just don't need to do that. You can literally make your cube, uh, and then from there, you can expand appearance. Boom, there it is, done. Ungroup, bam, there we are. Uh, maybe ungroup a couple times, but now you have all of these vector lines, which is nice. So this is the one with the effect, and here we have the one with uh, that I've just sort of outlined, if you will, I've expanded appearance, okay? But either way, even with this one, I can change the color right in here. So if we do want to go with the teal or green or whatever the case may be, I can always change it. Cool. All right. Fantastic. There we go. So we have all these pieces that we can then extrude and play with. 
some more if we want to, because we could actually extrude these if we want to. But I'm gonna kind of go on from there. This is a master class after all. I have this lovely circle. So let's just let's have some fun and let's get into some true 3D, because this is kind of it is 3D. Um, which is which is cool, but um, it's a very pseudo 3D. So right in here, uh, here is this half circle 3D. This time we're gonna do a fun revolve, and just like that, there we have our sphere. Um, in fact, let's change the lighting like so. Uh, notice how it's actually there's no offset, but it's doing it from the left edge, which is this side. So it's gonna start from this left left edge and then revolve around that direction. If I change it to right edge, you guys can see what it does there, right? Hopefully that makes sense. If I wanted a half circle, 180, right? You get the idea. It's a lovely little like bowl at this point. Okay, that we could put inside. We can put things inside of it, right? There's nothing like the real thing. So this is 3D, but you know, you it's it's very much a filter in Illustrator, which is what I would want. You know, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna add some more to this just for fun, okay, shall we? Let's add some more to this. I'm gonna go into map art, and I, geez, if you guys know me, you guys know I love to do this. I mean, this is like one of my favorite tutorials. Uh, taking a symbol, and I have these symbols um, that you currently cannot see, but they are uh, just some stripes. There they are. So we wanna pick the correct side. You have side one, side two, side three, and then side four, and you could see it highlight those different sides. I actually already mapped it to one, which I didn't need to, so we had to clear it from there, but find the side that you want. So what I want is I wanna map it on the inside. We'll map it on the inside and the outside. So it highlights the inside with that uh, lovely red. Pick our stripes, right? And then we have our lovely stripes. We'll go to four, which happens to be the outside, and uh, we will map it on the outside as well, okay? Uh, t -t 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 click OK, boom. Uh, we could do flat plastic shading. We could do no shading, which I like, right? And you can start to see um, uh, t -t 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 what we have going on here. as I'm kind of bending this around. Does that make sense? Uh, the issue is, of course, with that um, that little color on that beveled edge, which, let's just do this. Let's do scale to fit for both of these. That's one thing I did not hit earlier, scale to fit. Uh, click OK, there we are, we'll click OK. We'll take this, turn the stroke off. Oh shoot, don't turn the stroke off. Turn the stroke to white, and now we have this shape, which again, now this lovely 3D revolve as we rotate that around, whether it's a half circle or a whole circle, right? It's totally up to you. How come I typed in 360? Uh, 359, there we, maybe it should be negative. Uh, uh, okay. So anyways, it's actually rolling around that, uh, this sphere. So uh, this is just the amount of revolve, which is so fascinating. So anyways, you guys get the idea. Boom, boom, we have that done. And uh, you can see how sort of like the AT&T logo and just some of those logos are made um, just by having fun with these abstract shapes. So you could have fun even with, uh, say, the pencil. So let's just jump in. You know, if we did a, a fun curve, right? There it is. We'll do 3D revolve for this curve. Um, around the left edge, maybe around the right edge, right? I already have it applying to that, um, 
uh, I had it keep my last saved settings. So now whenever I draw, it's gonna create these 3D shapes at that angle, right? Just drawn because if we take a look inside of our appearance panel, because I have this set saying, hey, you know what? Um, new art does not have basic appearance. New art has that exciting new look that you just created. Um, so uh, again, I think that's cool, right? And again, there's our appearance. We click right in there. We could rotate from different sides or we could just rotate this around and get just some interesting uh, designs, right? We could see this is only, what, 206. I just don't know why when I type in, oh, there's 360. Oh, it's because maybe the angle that it's at. But again, I'm just playing with this. You guys get the idea. We're having some fun with abstract shapes that are pretty easy to do in Illustrator. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. We've got to go on. Carol's uh, cool as a moose. Awesome. Awesome, Murray. I'm always happy to help out. All right. So that's the idea. You could do this like with anything. Like I really like the sphere. You can just get really trippy with all of this stuff, right? So again, super, super fun. From isometric basic, right? We'd start creating that isometric designs that you see out there. And then you can get more elaborate as you can see. And let's not forget you could also use text. So that's what this is doing here, right? Extrude and bevel, there we are. Crank it up to 500. Give it some depth. There we are. Let's change the lighting. Let's rotate it as well. Bam, shabam, you guys get the idea. Cool. Uh, if you ever go into map art for text, it's gonna get crazy because it has, um, it's gonna give you each one of the sides. So it's like, okay, I gotta go through and like map this. I gotta do it 26 sides. There's 26 sides for three letters. Okay, so, and we could decide, we probably don't need to do the back. Uh, we could do this side. You guys get the idea. You guys don't need me for this. This is like, this is pretty straightforward, right? But it's fun. So I'm only gonna do the sides that I can see as I'm going through this. Oh, let's go back, bam, bam, shabam, shablam, shabow. There we are, there we are. Uh, this part, you wanna rotate this content, you could rotate it, so just grab that end, rotate it like so, right? We can actually even go at an angle, I think it'll look cool at an angle. Like, like that. Again, probably making it hard to read, but hey, we could always change it later. Uh, that's the nice part. So I'm basically showing you texturing, right? This is like we're using a material, we're kind of creating our own material and applying it to a 3D object. You know, when we get to into like, um, you know, Stager and some of the actual 3D apps, you'll see how much different it is and how you use materials there. Da, 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 da. Let me go through this real fast. There it is, top part, done. Shabam, there we go. Uh, rotate it, maybe like that. Wait for it. Sorry, I'm almost done. You know, I can't have it only like 90% done. We gotta do the whole thing. Scale to fit, there it is. Let's actually rotate it. No, that's fine. Okay, click OK, there, that is done, click OK, there it is, right? Keep in mind, yeah, we can change the color like we did earlier, changing that to white. Let's go in and not make this plastic shading, but just make it like, give it like no shading, right? This is, this is kind of what I like. This is kind of cool. All right, I said abstract. Yeah, it's hard to read, I get it, okay? Maybe I want to adjust the angle and now we can see that that says leo okay leo for lion for no reason uh it's jason back live today i think he is i think it is he is um uh yeah so rick's talking about uh 
3D um, doesn't work well in the latest Photoshop. And it's always tricky because like, think about what's happening. It's like, we're working in Illustrator. We're working with 3D. We can jump into Photoshop. Yeah, there's 3D in Photoshop. Then we have 3D apps. In fact, you know what? Guess what? We have multiple 3D apps. You know what? We have Dimension. There's now a Substance uh, 3D Stager. So, you know, we, we kind of get complaints from people who don't use 3D. The fact that 3D is in Photoshop and people just do, I don't know, just photography and don't want to deal with 3D. They're like, why'd you put this in here? I don't need this. So that's kind of that's kind of what happens. And the other problem is we can't ever remove anything from any app because people will also get upset. So it's hard to please everybody. Ah, oh, After Effects, reverb mic, speak my language, love it. Right, so here we are in Adobe Dimension, right? So again, we want to add a cube, boom, there it is, easy. We want to go into materials, yeah, we can grab materials. So rather than just having, you know, we what did we have, a pink? cube earlier here's our here's our pink cube right and let's adjust the camera and uh you guys get the idea you start to get into these fancy things like let's um let's do this with the camera this is just fun i love this feature and maybe i'll throw a couple more elements in here and then i'm going to switch to uh substance 3d stager if you don't mind Okay, so we'll throw a Taurus in there. Zoop, there it is. Use these controls to increase the size, but also these, if anytime you see an object has these little like uh, controls on it, these lines with dots, that means it has additional features and you can really manipulate it. Wait till I get to stage it because it's gonna blow your mind. It's so awesome. So what that means is these are the fun little controls. We can control the pipe radius, for instance, right? So we take that down a little bit and take the ring up like so, and then rotate it and all that fun stuff to get us, you know, some sort of interesting angle is all I'm going for. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to miss you guys. I do want to remind everybody that um, next week's Encore presentations, uh, we're off at Adobe. So um, yeah, next week's our, our week off. So it's going to, you know, we get it twice a year and I'm so excited about it. <clears throat> so anyways, so uh, Encore presentations next week. <clears throat> I'm sure as a lot of us will be available via, um, you know, the social medias. But um, that's uh, what's going on. Boom, boom. There's the fun materials. Dropping those in, right? And then guess what? We can actually see what it looks like. We click right up here. Okay, this happens to be a gelatin, right? Lots of refraction and fun things happening with it. We, we obviously, we can't get this with, um, with good old uh, Illustrator, right? Illustrator is going to create that graphic look. <laughs> This is gonna give us this fun abstract, fun reflections and things like that. So thank you, Bliss. I will enjoy the week off. Don't even know what I'm doing yet. I mean, nothing major. So there we are, here's our, let's drop in a, a background and get a little bit more creative with this. I'll zoom in on it, right? And this is also what I wanted to show you because I absolutely love this. So I have things in the foreground, things kind of in the background. I would probably throw something even larger up front. So let's drop in a cylinder and move this cylinder. By the way, if I like this angle, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop in a camera, bam. Here's a, a, a camera bookmark saying, hey, this is my main render view or whatever, right? So that's that's sort of my render. Uh, so I have that bookmark, so now I can kind of zoom out. I'm just using my one, two, and three keys to pan, to zoom, to rotate, okay? Select this guy, move it out, like that. Let's get this done. Yeah, you know I love gold. All right. 
No, I'm running. I'm actually good question. Another half marathon. I don't think so. I am running a five. My family does five K's on the 4th of July. So for the fourth, we're going to run a five K. I made our family shirts. I'll have to share those with you. That'll be cool. And uh, and then we're going to go cliff diving on Monday. So that's that's what I have going on. And uh, like a fun little swim party today. All right. So that's what I have going on. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, so, so this is what I wanted to do too. I love this right down here. Okay, you see this, Marsha? I love focus. Shabam, turn that on. Okay, everything's really blurry. And then we just set the focus point right, boom, there. So we're gonna set it right on that edge. And you could obviously see what it's doing blurring everything out here and in the background and it's going to give you that lovely shallow depth of field which is just you know takes the most expensive lenses to pull off when you're dealing with a camera and uh yeah cliff diving is gonna be so much fun i'm uh, i don't remember I, i'm basically gonna try some things that uh just, just that i used to do when i was younger so I don't know if anybody does any diving. What is it when you call when you run off forward and you flip backward into the water? What is that called? I can't think of the name of it, but uh, that's what I want to do on Monday. Uh, abstract design. We have to save it before we render it, right? Because only when we render it are we going to get all this gorgeous detail. What is it called when you run off forward and flip backward? Would love to know. It's not really a backflip. It's like a fakey thing. You run off forward and do a backflip. Is it a, eh, I don't, that doesn't sound right. Angus just calls it dangerous. Ah, such is life. What's gonna happen? You're gonna fall in some water? Oh no, I fell in water at a hundred feet. So yeah, that'll hurt. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, diving off a cliff. You got it. Wear a helmet. Yeah, no, it's fine, guys. It's you're, you're falling into water. You could wear a t-shirt, so if you do sort of land on your chest, it doesn't sting. So, ah, gainer, Ben. I think you're right. Is it a gainer? I think Ben. Hang, thank you, Ben. Daniel knows. Thank you, Ben. Let's go cliff diving together, shall we? So again, look at this gorgeous. This is what we're getting. This sort of depth of field, like, it, of course, not illustrator's not able to do it. Yeah, rocks tend to hide in water. <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> Forward half gainer backwards. Yeah, Sean, sure. <laughs> that sounds very complex. It's not that hard. Backflip, if anybody has ever done a backflip, you know backflips are actually easier than front flips. Your body will naturally follow your head. So you just have to look where you want to go. So, all right, while well, that's rendering, which is almost done, here's our 3D in Illustrator, which looks great. So I'll close that, and now's my, I'm gonna transition. Oh, ah, uh, Davika, you love diving? I love diving as well. It's so much fun. I just love it. It's very, it's thrilling, but yeah, you're gonna hit water, and maybe you're gonna smack yourself. I don't think you're gonna die. I don't think you can die from it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's save these files. I might need to close them. Um, so thank you, Roland. No M1 support for on both dimension and stager. You, you might be right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Give us some time with the new M1 chips. And I'm so sorry. I'm waiting. Um, as much as you, Arsalan's adding. And I'm sorry I missed some of these. I'm gonna move this chat over here. Some of these. Um, this chat. So sorry, Arsalan. Uh, do I prefer tablet or high sensitivity mouse? I just prefer a regular mouse, uh, but it all depends on what I'm doing. So um, yeah, here we go. Let's jump in. Substance 3D stager. You should be able to see my screen. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're just diving in a reservoir, so no sharks. 
M2 comes out soon? I don't know, man. I can't keep up. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're making that up or you're just messing around. But so here I am in the Substance uh, 3D Stager. So uh, it's not currently part of Creative Cloud, okay? So again, we spent a ton of money actually purchasing Algorithmic, which has all these amazing apps. So if you click on 3D and AR, there are these apps. This is actually just a subset of them. Let's go ahead and jump out here. Uh, and can I zoom out? There we go. Let's just So we have Substance 3D Designer, Sampler, Painter, and Stager. So uh, 3D Designer is going to be a node-based way to be able to create textures, and that's largely what the company is known for, is creating materials. Now we have Sampler, which is going to allow you to use your phone and capture the depth and all that detail of whatever you capture, right, and, and be able to split it up into the UV maps and all that fun stuff. Painter is going to allow you to paint on 3D models. Then you have Stager, which is what we're going to use today because it's the most fun. Cool. Cool. Get out of there. Oh, nice. Tim, thank you for mentioning that. CC and previous Substance customers get a hefty discount. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, Rick. Uh, there's been teases for the M2 in 2022. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys get it. Uh, light and showcase a model, compose and render a scene, add 3D elements into a digital photograph. You can do whatever you want. Go ahead, launch it. We're in here. We're working with, again, those same textures. Let's drop in a couple things. I gotta get this moving. Come on, let's make this happen. Scaling this up. Scaling this up. This make seem like, uh, Uh, no displacement map. Oh, right in here. This may seem like a simple uh, sphere, but if we want to make it fun, a little more fun, we could reduce the number of sides. So I'm taking that down, 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 like so. For all of these, they all do that, right? What I and I'll, I'm gonna apply some colors to these, and we're just I want to start creating some cool stuff. Okay, so let's throw on a mat and make it. We're gonna do like uh, I kind of want to do like an '80s just like a very poppy 80s um, color scheme uh, with some abstract elements, right? Same shortcut keys work, by the way, as I hand these around. Let's get into it. There's our Taurus. There we go, that's kind of like our base. Let's, sh let me show you some of these other things. You ready for this? This is gonna be so exciting. Um, Norsh, your, la your laptop was born in 2014. Did you have a birthday for it every year? All right, so this is the stuff I love. In fact, I'm noticing my big head's in the way, so let me just change this layout. Let's move me over here. String me down a little bit. All right, so it uh, kind of moved me over, and I guess I could have just done this. So sorry. So sorry, everyone. But right over here, right next to me on this side, we can see these additional models. So we saw up here, like how we can control different parameters and properties. We can do that with these other elements. So we can have that abstract loop or the abstract uh, spiral as we see right here. So we could determine say the number of loops that we want in it, uh, the number of curves that we want within it, right? And the thickness of those curves. So we can make it a little lighter. We could throw, course some color in on it like so 
right? And you get the idea. So we have a lot of control over this stuff. We can make that glow. I think that would be super cool. In fact, you know, let's just take a glow texture. And drop that right on that spiral, right? And uh, we could have that treated as like a light, okay? Don't worry, we can render it out later, but this is what I wanted to also show, if you don't mind. Um, down here, and as soon as I saw this, I like freaked out. Because I was like, oh, this is so, because you know me, skulls and flowers, come on now. Foliage, foliage A and B, a frame generator, simple shop. Like, have fun with all of these, this is so cool. Uh, stairs, walls, like all this fun stuff. We could, we're just gonna have a blast. I'm gonna lose my mind is what I'm gonna do. This is so much fun, everyone. Let's rotate this around. Let's shrink it down. You could always, instead of these controls, depending on where these controls are at, because sometimes they might be kind of hard to select, um, but you could always use the transform properties over here and lock them. So I scaled it down to 0.2, um, but now we have these lovely stairs. Again, rotating it like so. And again, just trying to create something interesting. Yeah, it might get, it might get a little silly, but uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty cool. Again, I just like this matte, the simple matte surface. But we'll make it white. All right, so let's get into this exactly what I was talking about. So here we go. Stairs, of course, have the ability to go into object. We could see the steps, the number of steps that we give it larger or smaller. I like the idea of having maybe a ball right, right up here. Okay, so we can control that. Uh, same thing for these um, flowers and foliage. Let's drop in some foliage. There it is, here's our lovely foliage. Like so, okay. There it is, and if you have a lot going on, you can always turn off some of this. I'll turn off some of this content just so you can see um, what we're dealing with which is uh, this object. So here, we can go ahead and determine the height of it. But I'm just, I wanna give this like just a little splash of life, having some organic elements in with these like um, very geometric elements. And I'm also checking the time. All right, and chat. Yeah, sometimes being silly, crazy, and weird can lead to interesting. I think the whole idea of like, you know, not being afraid to make mistakes, right? And essentially we're just exploring at this point, right? We have the base scale. Look at this, like, look at this, come on now. We're changing uh, the size of the leaves, the maximum scale of, uh, I guess the leaves, the minimum scale. Okay, so it's, there, it's getting larger and larger. It's so like, it's growing. Right, let's throw some color on there, apologies. Guess what, we have two different colors. So we have the color, say, for uh, the base, right? So for the stem, and then we have additional colors for, uh, let's, let's keep this in the green realm, uh, for the leaves. So here we'll go into the leaves, bam, shava. Right, maybe those will be brighter, maybe they'll be yellow. But this is, this is what happens, by the way. As a newbie, you, as soon as you learn how to do something, you want to do it. I personally don't think just because I have the ability to control the leaf color that I should. So it's going to be the same, right? It's a little, it's a little, it's a little much right now. It's a little much, folks. zoom out. I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, no. All right, let's throw some Studio 80s horror flick B. <laughs> That's what I just threw on here. We're going to go with uh, Studio 80s horror flick B. Added those appropriate gel lights. Let's see. Environment light. So that's the environment light it added. Um, which again, I just wanted it to be fun, like 80s style is all. Whoa, hello. 
If you ever get stuck like this, it's like, where the heck am I? Uh, you could go up here and click right here and that will go ahead and fit the current object within the viewport. So you're like, okay, now I can see it and uh, you can adjust accordingly. So again, rotate this around, something like that and zoom out a little and throw some more elements in here. So this is one foliage uh, B. There's foliage B. The number of leaves we can control, the padding. Oh yeah, come on people. Are you not impressed? I'm impressed. Let me know if you guys have questions. Uh, oh yeah, Riverbank, I love it. I love the I love the puns. I'm a sucker for a clever pun delivered. You know, and maybe people will get it. Maybe they won't. Oops. There we go, we can make it stand up a little bit more straight because I wanted to put it kinda in the center there. And this is a situation where I'm gonna go ahead and go into position. So we have X, Y, and then Z. Z is what I wanna adjust. We'll take this to zero back a little far and also sometimes you want the um, pivot point to maybe be in a different location so with this selected I changed the pivot point so these controls I changed them to be the there we go to be in the center because it was a little hard to grab otherwise There we go, let's grow it up a little bit more. Right. All right, let me know if you guys have questions. Um, on the left hand margin, does the lamp object have its own light source? No, currently there isn't. But you can give something a light source by making it a glow, which is what I was doing with this abstract spiral. So let's take a look at it. And really, we won't know till we render it. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's a couple more things I want to add to this, by the way. So let's just do this. Let's get this down here. Let's make this larger. Uh, maybe it's too much. I don't know if this abstract spiral is really working. Oh yeah. Because what I also have is you could find other models out there. So I'm gonna just jump out here. You probably saw this open earlier, but we can search for statue, statues, whatever. I'm just out here on a turbo squid. Also, there's stock.adobe.com, bunch of free models here. So just click on 3D. Uh, let's just search if I search free. Mm, that's not, that's not right. Let's do free. There we go. So change this to free and then go over here and say, hey, show me all the free 3D assets. Oh, oh whew, wait, no way. This isn't free. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm so excited. Sorry, everybody, I just found a skeleton. 
Uh, Het V, just so you know, I'm using Substance 3D Stager. And, uh, yeah. Maybe the opacity of the spiral was lower. Yeah. It's just, it's getting in the way way too much. But I'm so excited about the skeleton. Just so you know, I've downloaded some other ones that you could come into TurboSquid and also search for free. So select free, download those. I already did that as well. So let's just import 3D model. Uh, we have we have so many fun things. I'm so excited about this. Let's take a look at this. There's my low poly. Oh, so fun. Um, yeah, let's just open this up. There you go. Here's my lovely little like lion head. That could be a statue, oops, on this platform as I kind of move it into place. And of course work on this whole composition. I get it, needs to be worked on, okay? But really I'm just getting my objects together. So that's this one. This is just called Lion, or at least I'm gonna name it Lion. And I already have this imported, but there's also this uh, David Bust. Let's throw another texture on it. Okay. And let's scale it up. There we go. I like the David over the lion. So let's just drop that in like so. Maybe this will be... So in terms of design, um, exactly Angus. That's kind of what I'm going for. It's Miami Vice vibes. Okay. There we go, we need to make that a little a little electric. Okay, so I want this to be in exactly the center. We can go right down here. You can say, hey, you know, position it, zero, 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 right? It's gonna put it in the exact center of all of this. And then I'll click right here, say, hey, you know what? Go ahead and move it to the ground, bam, right? So now this is the center point right here. And I would do the same with these other elements. So I have this cylinder, which is kind of serving as the platform. Same deal. You get the idea. Fun abstract shapes. We could do some crystals and some other fun things. Um. <laughs> Um, by the way, I like, I actually have this sorted. Yours might look like this. This is also in a way you can, you know, view things with a, that are a little larger. Ooh, we could put some fun shades on our guy. Here we go, here's a crystal. Drop that in. Uh, yeah. So this is why I have it in list view. It's just gonna be easier to see because sometimes you can't tell what's what. When it's this way, like, you're like paper, like the, it's just, the title gets cut off. Like carbon what? But this is kind of makes it easier to, to see what we have going on. All right. There we go, like that sort of thing. That's what I'm into. Those are the glass drops, the little droplets, super cool. Let's work on our composition. This needs to be like smaller. Foliage, kind of move that back like so. And again, we're just having fun here. Uh, so yeah, Bliss, um, these are the uh, 
some of the additional features, right? So kind of what I'm showing here, these additional parameter controls, these properties um, off to the side. I, I'm, I'm noticing more, by the way. Um, so yeah, let's drop in a cone. Uh, you'll really notice a difference here in a second. It's yellow. Let's jazz up the background. That's what it needs. Let's, again, this is our view. Let's take a look. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like dimension on steroids. Good call. Let's save our file. Uh, let's go to libraries. I'm going to just jump into maybe in my miscellaneous. I might have some fun things I can use and drop in this sort of splattered paint background. Might work. Or even this one. Let's drop this one in back there. All right. That's that's kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Should it be? Is it too much? almost it's almost too much do we go with some gold pattern something like that something like this All right that's kind of i don't know i need help here All right i need help I think the free trial is only available for a week, Marsha. Okay. Here's the background. Um, we want to... Uh, I'm actually looking for a tile. I want to be able to tile the background, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? I need help. Use a little bit of help. Like, I kind of just want some angular lines. Like, everything we're doing over here, in fact, hey, that's what we'll do. We have all this fun stuff. Like, I love this. Like, this stuff is so cool. All right, let's just, like, do that really fast. Let's use what we have in here. Remember, here's our lovely lines. There they are. Make it nice and big. We'll drop it into our library panel. Okay. So that's what we need. I, I need, you know, maybe I kind of need some like black and white assets or something is, you know, what I'm thinking. So miscellaneous under this, all this chaos, that's where we'll drop it. We'll have our lines. And since I think our lines are going to come in vertical and I kind of want it diagonal, we'll drop in another one. Zebra tiles. Yeah, cheetah tiles. Uh, zebra, yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about. I love it. Um, where the heck would we get those? I don't know. You guys tell me. Wait, Paul, aren't you the aren't you the one with the 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 video titled Masterclass? Maybe maybe you should figure it out. <laughs> Listen to myself pick on myself. First of all, I'm definitely going to do something. I can't believe there's a whole skeleton available for free. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this. Um, jumping in here, let's go with uh, images. We will do chi or zebra. Or animal prints would be good. So again, we have some of these, like this stuff. This stuff might be cool. 
Uh, let me just double check and see. License for free. Guys, come on now. Stop it already. There they are. So we'll, we'll do animal print. And we will sort by, uh, say, illustrations, because I don't want real photos, just to see what we get. So this stuff is fun. This is kind of the vibe I'm going for, like this. That's cool. So yeah, that is the idea. This one? Yeah, let's license it, because you know what? It's free. I don't know if I'm logged in under the same account. Um, yeah, Benjamin, this is all free stuff, so go to free. In fact, if I turn off illustrations, just show me everything, actually, and let's clear this out, because this is what I wanted to check. First off, I feel like it should be more than that. What am I saying? But basically, there there's 316,000 free images in here uh, that you could use. Okay, so there, those are done. Oh, by the way, guess what? I also have this available in Illustrator because I noticed this lovely print. Shaba. Scaling this up using magic keys that I can't tell you about. Come on, scale it up. But uh, there's this pattern as well that we could use. Like all these lovely patterns like this. Duh. I already had that in here. Anyways, let's move on. I might just have time to throw in these diagonal lines if that's okay. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. Oh. Grab a cube. Go back in here. Let's drop on this, convert it to a standard model by clicking that button. And then we could drop this. It's going to treat it kind of like a. Wait for it, decal. Bam, there it is. Because I want a cool abstract design back there. And again, I don't have a lot of time. So let's rotate it, scale it up. Like I want, I want it to kind of bend around those corners like that. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, in fact, I can change this to fill. So we could have it fill and we could rotate it this way. It's gonna give us a, like a little bit different look, but I just wanted something kind of like abstract and you get the idea. Let's have it repeat a lot. We have all those lines and this could be my background. Uh, by the way, I cannot find my, um, how I dropped this back there, so I guess it doesn't matter. See how it has this ground plane? I'm not crazy about it. Environment, ground, turn it off. And now we can see the whole thing. So this all, uh, yeah, needs a lot more work. The reason everything is a tint of a color is because the lights that I've chosen happen to be the 80s horror flick lights. So uh, if I do change that, it's gonna change the whole look of it. Boom, there we go. And I didn't even get into this, but since you know how I like to get into new things within like a minute of uh, taking off, we could jump into um, 
any one of these. Jersey fabric, dropping it on, okay? It's not gonna be the best choice. But this fabric, you can actually control the yarn, as you can see, the yarn roughness, how metallic it is, the sheen, all sorts of things. So there's a lot you can do. Yeah, this was fun. <laughs> yeah, so again, just showing you these, because again, just like the models have additional controls, so do these. So here we go. You can see this, these little controls. This gives you additional capabilities. By the way, you can always jump out to uh, the tutorials out there for these different apps, by the way. Uh, this, these were done with uh, Substance 3D Designer is what files those were. So again, I'll wrap this up and hopefully create something that uh, will impress you and because uh, that's my goal. Okay, does that work? All right. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. Uh, I'm going to miss you guys next week, but you can find me through all the social medias right below here. And uh, have a beautiful day. Uh, we have Terry's going to be up, Jason. We're, most of us are here today, so uh, we'll see you guys online. Thanks so much, everybody. See ya.